Y'all probably say, where exactly are you going with this? I see you really trying to take it there. Old school flow, chew you out. Ain't fair, Jordan Pairs. Man, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zai. You already know what time it is, man. But anyways, man, look. I just wanted to get into something real quick as far as, like, this whole music thing. Because, I like, I, it, it, it's crazy. Like, I get mixed reactions for, like, mostly all my music. Like, regardless. Uh, you know, there's, you know, you got cats that, like, uh, you know, my music is not necessarily their cup of tea. And they let you know, especially when it's good homies. Like, hey, Zod, like, I like your stuff, but it's, it's not really my cup of tea. Either it's too dark, it's, it's too aggressive, or it's just something that they're not really used to, you know, especially being older cats, you know, we listen to stuff like Tupac and before that it was like, before Snoop Dogg, it was like Ice Cube and Dr. Dre and Easy, e like the classics, you know what I mean? And then if we went, uh, you know, outside, you know, you got Kumo D and, and, and LL and like, man, I could, the list goes on and on. Like I was a Red Man fan until we started talking about LA and then I was like, uh, you know, it hurt my heart, but you know, it is what it is. Muddy Waters. Uh, but, you know, you got all these cats, dude. Like, I, I get it. Like, you know, the, the first thing that, that comes out their mouth is like, you're too old to be doing this. And, and you're right. Like, it, at the end of the day, like, the, the context of the music uh, uh, and what I speak about uh, shouldn't be said or spoken by people my age. Like, I get that part. So I can understand you from that part. But if I was like the normal person, I didn't think the way I thought. Uh, if I didn't think the way I think and I didn't you know, go through the things that I've been through, I probably would be uh, more likely to, you know, heed your warning because uh, at the end of the day, I would be having a whole different mindset. But due to the fact that I've been through certain things, and even though, you know, you, you have people that be like, oh, well, you've been through it, so you should be uh, at that level mentally to where you're not trying to go through it anymore. Well, and, and to answer that, I'm not going through it anymore. Like, a lot of stuff that I put in my music is based on something and, and I'll just leave it to the imagination, whether it's fictitious or it's, you know, for the, the for those who know, you know, and if you don't, that's just, uh, you, you use your best, uh, you know, uh, detective work or whatever, you know what I mean? It's like, you got all these cats on social media that rap that never did none of that. And I can't really say that because, you know, but the proof is always in the pudding. Like, you can go research, you can do whatever, and, and you find out certain things. You'll never find out the the bread and butter, but you'll always get hints and stuff like that because that's what type of things take place when you've been living that life. But uh, also to answer, like, I'm not out there on the street just doing all types of crazy stuff anymore. Like, you know, occasionally I'll get into a little chunk of because you know, people feel chesty and, and, you know, and it's rarely with the homies, but you know, it, that comes with the territory too. Some people, they hear me talk and it's, and it's a put off for them. Like, I don't know, like somehow it, it upsets them to the, uh, to the point to where they feel some type of way about it, which I never really got that because, you know, when fools would be like, you know, uh, talking the way they talk and dress the way they dress, I never really had nothing to say about it. It doesn't bother me. Like I'm, a, a grown man and live in my own skin like you know what i mean like i'm comfortable in my skin i'm a black south sider black cholo whatever you want to call me and, and i've lived this life so it's just something that i'm accustomed to that's why i'm more comfortable in certain settings than i am in others but it just comes with the territory and, and for the people that, that it bothers you like you only have one life to live you, you, you there's two things in this world you you came in and you leave. That's it. You you were you were basically born uh, to be unalive. Like and whether it's naturally or somebody physically takes from you, were born for that. You there's a there's you're you're not immortal. There's there's a day. There's you know the world eventually shoots you that eviction notice that you can't really uh, get around. There's no squatting. Like you gotta go. You gotta go. Like wherever your soul is sent after that, your body. Is it's magging me, you know what I mean? It's it's like that type of, but it, you still do what you do, so you live it to the you know to the best of your ability. Like it, I'm, you figure like I've been around so so long. Like I had my birthday yesterday, so you already know your <laughs> your boy already over that hump. But you know I'm still enjoying life, and I'm gonna do what I do. Like there's a lot of people that still have faith in me to become something that they may see I'm going to become like I have faith in myself as well, but they see something greater because they constantly 
telling me and pushing me to to be greater. You know what I mean? I'm I'm even at the point you got homies that want me to write music for them and I'm fully prepared to do that. Like it just depending on which way they want to go. I'm not going to write no crazy type music for a fool that's a square like that's i'm not gonna do that you know what i mean unless you just pay me a lot of money then it's you know it, it is what it is like they can sell you that dream all they want it's i know what what happens down the road with that type of energy but you know eventually people are gonna test it especially if they know you were never about that but you know it it, it there's ne necessary. There's no necessarily rhyme or reason for what I do. I just felt like I needed to talk my ish, and I'm continue to talk my ish. And some of it is more, I won't say poppy, but it's more geared towards having people dance. It's more geared towards people getting excited. It's not so, you know, everybody. You know, some of it is about chicks. You know what I mean? But it's 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 something I feel like I I need to do. Like this is my last hoorah. Like you know, as far as music. But, you know, I plan on getting into all types of stuff. Like, there's a lot of fools out here that's been doing it for a long time. And kudos to them. But I, I plan on having a few artists up under my, you know what I mean? But it's 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 planning. It's It, it takes time. You got to build that name before anybody will have faith in you that you can take them to the next level. And I'm constantly, like, studying things. There's still a lot of things I need to study as far as managing and promoting and things of that nature. But I think I'm... Uh, pretty. I got a not not a good handle on it, but I think I'm I'm you know heading in the right direction. And then I got people around me that have been doing it for years, uh, and even not on and and could have been did on could have did it on a grander scale. But they they like doing it a certain way. It it, it gives them money, but it also alleviates a lot of problems. It doesn't come with as much problems as it was if you were on a grand scale dealing with artists that that their names really carry major weight. But you know that that's I don't want to keep going down that road, but basically, like for the people that you know, you tell me to stop music, I'm gonna stop because it's time. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna do it after all my projects are done. I'm not gonna start a project and don't finish it. I'm gonna finish my projects and then I'm done with that aspect of music, and then hopefully I shift into something greater. But it. it, it there's always one thing that starts the other. You cannot get an artist to want to sign to you if you don't got a name yourself. And you don't have to have a major name, but you still have to be able to pop. People still have to want to hear your name. It's like right now, like you, you got cats that like, oh, yeah, you ain't blah, blah, blah. But yet I still go places and people be like, hey, what's, hey, fool, what's up? And I got cats dealing with me that don't even know nothing about the social media. They just know that when I talk, they see the vision and they want to follow it. <clears throat> and I got cats that are willing to put money towards it in order to help that vision come to fruition. And in the past, I was kind of sh away from that because I don't want that much pressure put on my shoulders. But see, now I'm, I'm, I'm able to bench the world. I'm ready for that. You know what I mean? It's like it's like when the homie's like, hey, you want to do Kush stock? I'm like, all right. I got, you know, I was like, if I can get the day off, you know what I mean? Because I'm not going to, you know, miss bread in order to, you know what I mean? If it's, you know, but it's a chance to perform and I like to perform, you know what I mean? And I don't know how many songs I'm going to be doing or how many songs they allow me to do. I don't know which songs I'm going to be doing. If I'm performing with homies that I've did songs with, or I'm just going to be doing it solo. I'm not too sure about that, but you know, hopefully I get it under control quick because it's already coming this Saturday and I want to be ready and fully prepared. You know what I mean? Get my hair cut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like I'm getting phased or something. Like, nah, you ain't gonna see me get on stage with no edge ups. I don't do none of that. That's not this is not my stilo. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, big. I put that that soap and that shampoo on it. That suave shampoo with that razor. You know what I mean? I, I didn't mention suave because uh, you know I got some kind of deal with them. But it's just you know that's what you put on. And whatever. And edge up my beard as best as I can and and get busy. You know what I mean? And you know hopefully rock out. But yeah. For the people that want me to stop, that's why I'm not going to stop. Like, because there's people still wanting to hear it. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, you get to some age, you're like, you know, there's sometimes I'll be writing music and I'll just be like, that's too strong. And I'll be like, ah, you know. 
other times I'm feeling it like, oh, like, oh, it's dark. Like, I'm about to go stupid with this one. And then I'll think about it. I'm like, oh, you know, I might want to tone it back. Body's not moving as well as it used to because that's what it really comes down to. Like, I'll be wanting to write some turn up. And then it's like I won't have nobody around me. So, you know, when you got people around you, you're doing things. People are actually paying attention. You get hyped up. So you get to move in. The next day your body hurting because you didn't, you know, you didn't pull something because you was trying to be that young fool that you used to be. But you don't care because you're willing to throw your body out of shape in order to get that one particular shot, that one particular hand sign and, you know, the way you might look when you do it. Like, you, you're feeling it. Like, you're allowing yourself to be absorbed in the music and just really uh, encumbrance everything that's going on. You know what I mean? But when you're dolo, it's kind of hard. You know what I mean? But... You know, I'm getting I'm getting better at it, you know what I mean? But yeah, I, I this is this is this is stop date, you know what I mean? And I'm not gonna tell nobody, but this is stop date. You know what I mean? But I have to do what I have to do. Like I have to I have to I have to put my music out. I need people to hear it. Like what people understand also it's a body of work. This is something you'll be able to look back and be like, damn, I did that. Like I I put that together. There's some people that can't put together two words. Off the most exciting beat, but can't do it. But that's them, you know what I mean? But as far as, like, music, yeah, there's a, there's a stop date. I'm just not letting nobody know. And it's soon, you know what I mean? Because it, it's time. But hopefully, in the end, I've, I've accumulated enough buzz for people to actually be like, hey, you know, manage me, you know what I mean? And then me knowing some of the ins and outs, I'm able to deal with other people that know the ins and outs and really get these people like these shows and stuff. Because a lot of times people like the album sell no and the streams, no, really comes down to your, when you're performing, I say your bread and butter right there. You know, you're getting these shows, you're booking them in different states and, you know, some, some states, you know, they look for that because they don't really have too many acts. They have local acts, but not strong enough to really bring in the numbers. You start bringing cats from different, you know what I mean? Like, Sack, Sack, and, and the Bay Area, they having it their way because they just got talent. It's, it's, it's raw talent. They got a different vibe up there. The, the swag is a lot different. So they, you know what I mean? It's like, you see when the hyphy movement was cracking, like, it, they just different. You know what I mean? That's why they bubbling like that. That's why their beats is bubbling. And that's why cats are, you know, uh, and I'm going to leave that for another video because I also wanted to talk about that. You know what I mean? This whole criticism of, you know, Southerners trying to sound like northerners which out in fact i'll make a video right after you know what i mean because <laughs> i want to cover that but yeah i'm uh, eventually music stops you know what i mean and i know i'm older so you know it, the energy is there but it's just like it has to tone down because you know i got kids you know what i'm saying right now my son sleeps so it's like I'm, I'm able to move around but when he gets up i'm back on dad duty you know what i'm saying but i'll take that any day over that cage and it's not even about fear. It's just there's nothing else to do. Like, there's nothing else to do in there. Like, w for the people that have been there, you know what I'm talking about. There's, you get to a point and say, Can, do I do burpees? Do I hit the yard and work out? That's mandatory. for Even if it's not man it's mandatory for you. And it's like, you can only get so strong and so, you know what I mean, before you start getting tired of your routines. And I did that for years. And, yeah, they can have that out keep the streets performing on stages being asked to you know what i mean and i'll take that any day my kids chilling you know what i mean eating whatever you know what i mean hopefully i get my grill did soon i think i'm gonna go to tj to get it done or but you know what i mean they be removing them over there so it's like you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyways i'm your boy zod and i'm gonna go ahead and let you go like subscribe hit the bell for all future notifications and let your boy know it's cracking like i see not all the videos are doing thousands of views but i'll take it for the solid ones that have been following me i'll take it and i appreciate it with that being said your boy zod kush stock saturday the 26th adelanto let's get it and i'm out kneel before zod